Welcome back, everybody. What I'm going to be talking about now is a second example of a HTML5, CSS3, and jQuery-based website. And this one happens to be an example of a one-page slider. Now, a one-page slider is something that a lot of my students have requested from me in tutorial form, and I thought I'd share it with you. So what's the deal with a one-page slider example? Well, as you can see, here happens to be one that you will have in your source files. And if you notice, you've just got a navigational system over here. It's a two-column website. It doesn't really look like anything too fancy. But instead of the normal type of website where you'd be jumping to different pages, in this particular example, the entire website is contained in one long scrollable page. In order to make that a little bit more manageable and a little bit more appetizing, here you'll notice that there is a jQuery slider in place. And this one is sliding the content and the different types of content that we have on this page, as you can see here. And if I were to jump back to the top, zoom, it takes us all the way back to the top. Here's another nice thing about this example that I'm going to be showing you, is that when we just normally scroll through this as people are reading it, you will recognize that one of the other things that seems to be happening is as we get our section into focus, you'll notice that the appropriate button becomes highlighted. So the current page, or the current section of this website, I should say rather, is going to be highlighted. Now that doesn't mean that you can't use the sort of slide buttons here. You absolutely can, as we're I'm showing you right now. But it's more common that somebody might just be scrolling through this. And what's really nice is that you'll be highlighting the elements that they are sort of focusing on. Now in order to achieve this we're going to be needing a number of jQuery plugins and the ones that I'm going to bring to your attention are these two right here. One is called the jQuery scroll to plugin. Actually I'll show you the basic page for it and it's something here that was created by Ariel Flessler and as you can see there's a good amount of information on what to do with it and how it actually works. However the elements that are in place in this particular example are sort of a little bit, well, I don't want to say that they're um, not really well done. I mean, it's absolutely well done. But I think that there are a number of additions to this that can actually help it to be a little bit more concise and to actually work. And I'll point you to this particular page page by Trevor Davis and in it he's got jQuery one page navigation plugin which is pretty much what we want to be doing and this is where I will send you to get the information however I'm providing you with the information that you will need so there's no real need for you to download any additional information I'll provide everything for you but what you can see in this section and in these information it's a little bit of a cleaner code than the original Arial Flessler code so the ones that we're going to be using are really not going to need a lot of in additional information in fact all we're going to need are the script sort of information that we have here which is referencing the actual JavaScripts for the scroll to and the additional one that was created by Trevor Davis and the only other thing that we're going to need is this little document ready function here which is going to turn it on and make it work for us the nice thing about this one as opposed to the simple scroll to is that it will also highlight the particular current buttons that we're going to be using as I described when we slide through these things and these areas here will just sort of highlight for us. So this is a good one but do remember that the Ariel Flessler one is really quite nice as well and um, Trevor Davis has just built upon that scroll to one but here is the original Ariel Flessler examples and they're kinda nice um, I'm just doing something that's really quite simple in terms of a one-page layout but you can see that there's really a whole bunch of these um, that are possible and here just let me show you you can even slide in this type of direction if you wish and if you go back, you see that? It just slides back into place. So this is something that you could do as well. 
and that's why I'm pointing you to it. But for our purposes, and we're just doing a quick and easy little example, we're going to stick to the Trevor Davis example, and I've provided you with all of that information. So when we come back in the next video, we're going to open up our editor, and I'm going to deconstruct this particular website, the one that you're looking at right now, and I'm going to kind of show you what's going on and how it all works. In the particular example that I'll be giving you, I do also want you to recognize that there happens to be one set of backgrounds here and we go into the next section you'll notice that it's changed ever so slightly it's a very subtle change I didn't make it anything that's you know gonna hit you over the head but if you wanted to you could make some very drastic differences in your backgrounds as you're sliding through them so notice here you see now we've got a different color background and a different sort of pattern in place and if we go to the next one, I've repeated one that we used earlier. And finally, here, the last one that I have here in the background happens to be the very same one that we started with up at the top. So the particular example that I'm showing you is also going to not only indicate how we can work with the jQuery plugin, but it's also going to indicate to you how we can implement and set up many different sections as I'm doing right now so that you can implement different backgrounds in a one-page slider if you so chose. So come back in the next video. We'll deconstruct this and get started.